Hi, my name is Ziyad Khalil, and I am doing my final year project. My project is called EMG Control Prosthetic Hand. For the sustainable development, uh, the prototype is made up of uh, 3D materials and uh, uh, cheap materials used, but uh, they are durable and long lasting. Uh, the parts which are used are uh, servo motors, which are found, uh, which can be purchased uh, uh, very easily and they are commercially available. Uh, the benefits are that the social and uh, economic benefits for people who need prosthetics, uh, prosthetics uh, they don't have uh, much choice uh, regarding the usually use uh, cosmetic, uh, cosmetic pro prosthetics. So for uh, our hands uh, provide uh, most of our daily work. So we need basic uh, hand gestures which we can use to make our daily life easier. Inventiveness. So uh, using controlling the um, uh, EMG control prosthetic hand. We are using servo motors and to control the motors. We have uh, made a AI model uh, which predicts the hand gestures of the EMG sensors when you move the upper forearm muscles. So the prototype is also very durable and easy to use and easy to manage as well. Uh, it can be disassembled and maintained easily. Uh, for this uh, uh, application, we uh, it is for areas which don't have um, commercially available mechanical working prosthetics. So anyone with a 3D printer can print their own prototype and uh, install the parts and everything with instructions. So that is the basic and most important application of this uh, project. Now I will show you the coding which uh, I have done to uh, run the EMG uh, prototype. So this code is uh, being used in the Arduino to collect the reading, which uh, then is transported into the PyCharm Python library. And uh, from there uh, we use the pattern recognition uh, by using feature extraction and digital processing uh, uh, methods. And then we use the output to get the. Uh, then we use the AI model which we have trained to predict uh, which uh, gesture is being uh, uh, predicted. So then the all of that will be combined into a uh, GUI. Uh, which is displayed as this. And uh, now when I press start, then my uh, prototype will start working. Uh, let me show you in the next uh, video. So this is the prototype. I have connected my sensors to Arduino and then all the motors and everything with the external power source is also connected to the breadboard and servo motors. So now I will connect my hand to the uh, lap, uh, prototype to the laptop and it will start working. Okay, so when I grip my hand, it will detect from the features and then the AI motor will predict that the hand is closed and there it will begin. Now if I perform another gesture like pinching, and then it will perform the same function. So that is my prototype. Thank you. So as you saw, the prototype is uh, working and uh, 
there is some small adjustments which needs to be made to the fingers the small finger which cannot retract uh, back uh, and uh, the uh, wiring which has to be made more uh, uh, clean and organized and the GUI uh, also has to be made some adjustments uh, which will be more user friendly and have a logo of the university or uh, company or open source uh, uh, platform which will be uploaded on and uh, uh, these uh, sensors also plays an important role to uh, help in other processes uh, as well uh, in other limbs as well to it is the same method of extracting the EMG values and then uh, pre-processing uh, feature extraction, classification, AI model training, and then uh, just a prediction we can do on any limb, on shoulders or foot, legs, etc. So that is the final goal of this uh, FYP. Uh, so that is all. Thank you.